Oh, 
a special resident of Faculty of Engineering and Technology. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure and the deep sense of gratitude that I stand before you today as the day of the Faculty of Engineering and Technology to welcome you to the eighth Faculty of this event is the and dedication of our faculty members, staff and students who have supported us through the challenging time we have faced. First and foremost, I would like to accept my access appreciation to every member of staff within the Department of Engineering and Technology. Your well-trained support and provision have been instrumental in ensuring the success of this lecture series. Despite the orders posed by the government doctor and the experts outside who are able to organize not just small but three transformative lectures during my channel at the end of the campus. Your commitment to excellence and your passion for knowledge and determination have shown through this science time. I would also like to acknowledge and express my sincere gratitude to the members of the lecture series of the next committee, your dedication, hard work, and perseverance have played a crucial role in making this event a reality. It is heartwarming to witness the growth and progress of our colleagues within the community, as many of them have been elevated to the excellence of the person. This is a testament to your outstanding contribution and the favor of the Almighty. Today, we are privileged to ask Dr. Chico Ugo. As our esteemed mentor, a set of titles of friends and your friends has to be concise, promising to be enlightening and thought provoking. Dr. Zoro's efforts and insights. We undoubtedly can learn our perfect and empower all to embrace reconciliation in the face of adversity. To our distinguished guests, I say the warm welcome to each and every one of you. Your presence here today is a testament to your commitment to academic excellence and your support for our purpose. Your insight, contribution, and engagement during this lecture series are invaluable. I will look forward to intellectual discussions that will transpire even after the lecture. In conclusion, I wish to reiterate my command appreciation to all of you, particularly the management team of this university for your unwavering support and dedication. Your collective efforts have allowed all to uphold the tradition of the faculty lecture series, even in the face of unprecedented challenges. Let's all take this opportunity to engage, learn, and grow together as you navigate the frontier of knowledge, particularly in engineering and technology. Once again, welcome to the case of faculty lecture series of the Faculty of Engineering and Technology at Malta. May this great insight be a returning process, filled with enlightening conversations, profound insight, and lasting connection. Thank you. 
and enjoy the lecture. Thank you very much, sir, for making me free. The Arthur Vice Chancellor, for the important case of writing, please permit me to recognize the HODs in the back of this. And I'm going to start with the head of the department, Electrical Executive, Professor Mrs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming. I also want to recognize the Director of Academic Planning, Professor Mrs. Aisha Bolani and the Faculty Officer of Jazz Springs Faculty, Mr. A. Andriki. Now, none of you are by for his remark. You are welcome. Before I deliver a speech this morning, or this afternoon, I want to congratulate the Faculty of Engineering and Technology on this landmark achievement. It's uh, faculty lecture series. It's essential to know that this is the first lecture that will be taking place during your tenure of office. So it's a real congratulation to you. And also to the old faculty member, a key economic forum is your cooperation that has made this to be so. So congratulations. And also the title is very vital. Offense and the offended, time to reconcile. Everyone is peace and uh, we need to reconcile you. So it's going to be highly impressive. So I go on to the speech of the action by chancellor. The Registrar of University, Dr. Okulei, the Bossa, Ethi, represented by Dr. Ajenita, the University of Liberia, represented by Dr. Adeko, the Dean of the Faculty, Professor Simeon Onasayo, Deka Yinfa, all distinguished professors here today, the HODs in the Faculty of Engineering, directors, that are here present, all academic staff, esteemed academic staff members, non teaching staff that are here, distinguished guests, great Ladoka, greatest Ladoka, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today as the acting vice chancellor of our esteemed institution to declare open the eighth faculty lecture series of the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, now set. This event holds a special significance for me as it marks the first faculty lecture I have the privilege of witnessing in my current role, that's referring to Professor Tom Kalini. I would like to express my heartfelt application to the Dean of the Faculty Professor Senior Jetta and his exceptional team for their unwavering 
dedication and commitment in organizing not just one, but three faculty directorships under such challenging circumstances. We all know too well the action of faith during the COVID-19 lockdown and the actual eight month action strike that disrupted academic activity. Nevertheless, the indomitable spirit of the faculty members has prevailed and they have managed to uphold the tradition of intellectual discourse and knowledge sharing. The faculty lectures will serve as a platform to showcase the remarkable research and innovative ideas emerging from the brilliant mind within the faculty. It is a testament to the depth of expertise and pursuit of expertise that defines our institution. By engaging in such intellectual exchanges, we foster an environment of collaboration where ideas are not just challenged and fun. Today, we are honored to have Dr. Dio Idowu from the Department of Agricultural Engineering as our esteemed lecturer and coincidentally the Department of the Blue. I send my warmest greetings and appreciation to Dr. Idowu for accepting the invitation to share his expertise and insight with us today. His lecture title, Offense and the Offender, Time to be Contact, promises to be enlightened, thought provoked, and address crucial issues that call for attention and reflection. Before I continue, I would also like to express my gratitude to the entire faculty staff and students who have contributed to the success of this event. Your enthusiasm and support are invaluable, and they remind us of the collective strength we possess as a university community. Once again, I send my warmest welcome to all our esteemed guests. May these eight faculty members be a standing doctor, filled with insightful discussions, inspiring ideas, and lasting connections. Thank you. I wish all a memorable and enriching experience during this lecture day. On this note, on behalf of the Archivist Chancellor, I hereby declare the faculty lecture open. Thank you very much, Ma, for that beautiful address. Now we are moving on to the next of the offer. And uh, to read the citation of the lecture, I'm going to call on Dr. D. Adeyengi. Dr. Adeyengi, you are welcome. Kindly permit me to request the lecturer to step forward and remain silent while the citation is being directed. Engineer Dr. David Ulua Femi Do was born about six decades ago. He is the teacher of teachers with some of his former students now professor both in and outside Nigeria. His teaching experience ran through the ladder from the Nursery Primary School to secondary and now in the university as an associate professor at the Department of Agricultural Engineering, part of the Agricola University of Technology, Bumashaw. Dr. Yoru's specialist in food processing with about 20 referred journals and conference papers, published both locally and internationally. <laughs> he has supervised and co supervised many undergraduates, masters, and one PhD in the field of crop processing to completion, and still supervises some. Is the longest serving examination officer in his department. (Applause) 
and in our son, we made it as the party chairman of the Dutch Party from 2016 to 2022. <laughs> As part of the special that you play, that makes it special, she's a passionate advocate for better Nigeria, through good governance and engineering. Through good governance and engineering in Nigeria, and the to make the country a safe place to live. Not only for doing the number of politics, but not practicing politicians. A good mentor to the young ones and has a desire to mentor in his capacity. He is a Christian by religion, but never is a religion in his religion. He is actually married with his children. As you know, I present to you the Jay Faculty of Teaching. Of Faculty of Engineering and Technology. We have this in my session. People are represented. and technical staff of the university, distinguished invited guests, great advocates, ladies and gentlemen. All glory and honor to God of grace, who has been covering my inability with ability. It is a great honor and privilege to present the eighth edition of the Faculty of Engineering Lecture Series. I cannot but appreciate the thing of the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, Professor S. O. Jekarifa, who is wearing two caps today as the dean and as well as my professional and departmental father. <laughs> Food security is a critical factor in the socio political and survival of the nation. Hunger is a complex problem with many implications, including conflict, devastation, agitation, poverty, political instability, revolution, ethnic violence, and religious intolerance, as we have been able to see in our country. The late French Revolution started because of price of life. According to a uh, British political philosopher, Francis Bacon, rebellion is caused by two things, much discontentment and much poverty. Rebellion of the rebellion is the worst. You can see that. So most of the time you see rebellion here, you see people demonstrating. It's not because of anything, it's because of food. Sir, so, I want to start this lecture by presenting a biblical account of an event in Egypt, the cradle of civilization. Taylor had a dream that he was standing by Nile, by the Nile River. He saw several ugly and thin out, eating up the attractive and the plump wine. That is his dream. He slept again and had another dream. He dreamt that a uh, 17 years swallow of the double plum uh, food here. So in the morning, it was the plum. It was the spirit for the trouble. Then he called the magicians of the Egypt, the white people, and asked them to interpret 
to him the dream. But unfortunately, they could not. Then the chief of the Arab said to Pharaoh, I remember my offense today. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigeria has been battling with different security challenges, ranging from insecurity, election violence, kidnapping, extreme former conflicts, separatist, secessionist, and such demonstrations, among others. In January 2018 alone, Amnesty International reported indicated that 168 people were killed as a result of Nesman farmers clash and 10,500 persons displaced in Nesman farmers clash in Nigeria during 2016. The north-central state of Benue, Plateau, Nasarawa Park as food basket of Nigeria and other states have experienced conflict that led to thousands of deaths, displacement as a result of clash between pastoralists and local farmers. Nigeria is, a, is very populous. It's a populous country in Africa, seventh in the world, with a estimated population of 206. They have about 16, 70% uh, of its population under 30 years of age. The size and the youthfulness of the population offer great potential to expand Nigerian capacity as regional economic hub of Africa. And global, they, but alas, the youth are unskilled, economically unproductive, hungry, restless, and jobless. Aki Yemi and Bobalaji 2022. Mr. Fashion Salazar, our nation is troubled today. All our political and economic policies attempting to solve the problem have failed because of the offense committed by our top dealer, that is the policy makers, who could not interpret our problem, but think establishment of more universities and problem uh, Brazilian subsidy removal or change our denial of faith is our problem. This is the time to identify way forward for the country. A stitch in time saves now. Interpretation of Interpretation of uh, Pharaoh's trip. One, it, it was beside the Nile. What is the implication of the Nile? That is river for irrigation. Two, it's not cow. The cow is a symbol of animal rearing. Again, it's not ears. Here, there is a symbol of plants. The ugly cow and the thing that is swallowing the fat and addictive ones represent the gain of harvesting swallowed by the off season period. So, during the period of harvesting, you have a lot. But after after harvesting, you have a problem. If there is something you cannot do. And that is where Joseph's interpretation comes in. Interpret and solution to the inclusion of engineering in agriculture. Which means if you don't include engineering in agriculture, there will be a problem for a growing population. When the population is growing at a geometrical rate and the food production is Growing patterns arithmetic array, there will be a problem. So, let's go to the introduction proper. This is preamble. Let us imagine food to heat during the harvesting time of about three months. Only to experience acute food stretches for the next eight months. How will you feel? Three months, you are able to get food. But after the three months, no more food. Because you can't get it, there will be a problem. Hunger means want if you are hungry. During the time of answers, I told some people, Nigeria is very lucky that the answers happened uh, during that time. If it was during January, February, 
we will not be able to control it. Because at that time, the anger will be biting very hard. The three basic things of life are food, shelter, and uh, clothing. Lack of job combines the three. A man without a job will not be able to be fat. He can't get the house, he can't get anything. The current state of insecurity in Nigeria, our country, cannot be completely separated from food insecurity. A hungry man is an angry man. It has been reported that the country economic problem is going to face political instability. The three basic things of life are produced by agriculture, but to only be sustained, whether in its raw or by a process form with engineering in agriculture, which means if you look at everybody here today, if we remove agriculture from us here, nobody will be able to stay. Your clothes, your shoes, the cream you use, and everything is a source of is not agriculture. But this cannot be produced enough for us to use here if engineering is not involved. The three basic things of life are produced by agriculture. I think I've said that one. The development of domestication of plants An animal began over 10,000 years ago. This was when there was no specialization. Everybody looks for food. The population was small and there was no need for, uh, there was no need for production, mass production. The Nigerian population is 44.9 million in 1960. Next. And close to 90% of the Population were farmers. If you look at the that one here, you see the farmers, they are very plenty in 96. So feed just only 10%, which is just 4.49 million people. That is why most of the time, the old uh, people are talking, they are talking of how we feed ourselves in 96. It's a different thing now. If you check the second pie chart, you will find out that 70% of the country are no more, they are, they, are, they are the people that are eating. Only 30% are the, those people in agriculture. So, if you have this, it is not possible for agriculture without engineering to get up for this people. And that is what we see today. So, let's what I'm saying is that less than 30% of 230 million are practicing agriculture now. Definitely, they will need to feed 149.1 million. You see the problem. American population is 334 million, 233,000. But only 2.6 million is into agriculture. Why? Just because they included engineering in their agriculture. Agricultural development in Nigeria is not important to natural resources, natural, natural systems. This system includes land, labor, and weather. However, this system are showing signs of threat with impact of climate change. For instance, water scarcity, increased weather variability, Food and crops have a direct impact on agriculture. Nigeria is a nation blessed with an abundance of arable land. Very fertile with fairly heavenly weather last 2022. Yet, the, the deserving opportunities, advantage of these resources are challenged by ineffectiveness. Engineers, specifically agricultural engineers, must be involved to check this problem. The producers should deliver safe and abundant food for domestic and provide a trade surplus in work and high value for food security to be achieved. 
The relationship between yield and power input in agriculture is very pathetic when engineering is not involved. So, to achieve food security, engineering the agriculture is a must. Poverty is more domesticated in the north, northern part of Nigeria. And that is why it is easy for a nutritious leader, politician, to tell a hungry man to kill his or her fellow human being so that he can get and work in heaven. I've witnessed somebody, I've witnessed, I've seen something that happens to one of the suicide bombers. By the time we see the leg, the shoe, they will find out that there is poverty in him. So it is so easy, it's hungry. And that is why people now tell them, go and kill, go and do this thing, so that you get them when you get to heaven. He has no thinking of what is going to happen. Americans will not do that one. He has the food to eat. Do you think an Igbo man with a large business estate in Lagos We want Nigeria to break? No. Or a Igbo man with investment in Kano, we want your nation. I doubt it. The Boko Haram fighter killed both Muslim and Christian. Then what religion are they? Adasara. 2nd July 2015. And then religion do not, okay. This unification of Nigerian youth during SARS, the demonstration, and the resulting looting of food we are, but not bad. Go and check it. They will see the bank, they don't lose the bank. But what did they do? They are looting food houses. They don't lose Abusa man's food and you are your baby friends out. Tell us that Nigerians are hungry. And they are angry. Aristotle, in his philosophy, says, and I quote, poverty is the parent of revolution and crime. That is when you see crime, you see revolution, here and the other people are talking, you will know that in the past they are hungry. They are hungry. But unfortunately, we want to talk peace to a hungry man, the youth and the poor. No, it is not possible. The young man just says, Every key for no key of the man of And you want to talk this to a person that is hungry. We don't want them to be away again. We don't want them to do some other things and you don't give them job. That is the problem. According to what you say, I think I mentioned that one the other time. Just 2.6 2. million Americans are in agriculture. With that population, you can see. So the reason for it, when you now have a situation where you now have agriculture without uh, engineering, some of the things you will see here. You see, my, you see, this working like that. And this, are you telling me it will be good as bad? You can see the problem of agriculture minus engineering. Will they be a good father for their children? By the time they come home, the father will want to feed them, the, the children will want to feed their father. By the time they come close to the father, the father is angry already because he's exhausted. He's exhausted. Just me. And that is why when I watch, uh, I've been to cops to witness the boss uh, when they are saying, my husband doesn't touch me. My husband doesn't do this. That's why I'm leaving the husband. Can he, after all this work, I was challenging uh, Nawak and so on the women organization. This is what we call women abuse. See the women. Would that be good wives? They can go. When you remove agriculture from engineering, we will remove engineering from agriculture. It's resulting in women abuse and so many other things. I have it here. Men, women and men abuse. It's 
before. Because so many things, you can't show love for your people. In fact, in terms of health, I've talked to some people, they want to spend it from morning to night, they will tell him it's for And they will start giving him drugs that will destroy his liver, kidney. And by the time the kidney is destroyed, he will not go to the hospital, they start treating it, it's a long thing. He will eventually will not say, it's a year in the end. So it's not another problem. So you can see how these things can lead to a lot of problems. So as the culture, without engineering to all these things, that's enslavement. Next slide. Just this simple. I cut up with engineering. Only one person. On the plan. In 19, uh, I think, 87, when I was doing my IT, I saw one factor. So I'm sick. That is why you see the type of factor they are using now. It's already out, 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 outdated. The doctor, as at that time, there is seven with the uh, air is inside. Television is inside. So the one can enjoy himself, even at that time. So, we are people move away from that now. So, engineering can be the only one that can provide uh, food. Uh, sometimes, about two weeks ago, I went so a place here, yeah, the man is, the man have uh, 30 acres of uh, granite. He wants to have a He and I went there, I just got my car. I went there, I saw it. I saw a lot of people there. I said, how many people are there? He said, 120. If you can fly, 120. I said, how many days? He said, seven days. If it is that harvester, if it is our harvester, if you have a six within the day. So that is why most of the time we have problems with our agriculture here. There is an judgment. My introduction has shown in a Japan place, women are you are enslaved, killed, unemployed, hungry, and angry. They are suffering in the land of death. Casting in the deep sea of fresh water, our governor, the policy maker, either knowingly or knowingly neglected engineering in agriculture, thereby creating hunger and anger. Mr. Vice Chancellor, let me wrap up this introduction by quoting that we have every call that is made. Everyone should blown. Every rocket fire signifies the final sense of death from those who are hungry and are not fed, or those who are cold and are not blue. Nigerians are hungry and are not fed, cold and are not, are not blue. Hence the title of the lecture Offense and the Offended. Time to reconcile. Though some of us will look at this, it's not, if you want to know the deep meaning, you can see, see me later. But we will see, uh, as we are going on, let's go So, now, if inclusion of engineering in agriculture, we now improve our problem. We improve the, 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 the state of the nation. What is agricultural engineering? Because we are not talking about it. Agricultural engineering is the branch of engineering that applies knowledge of biological science, engineering science, mathematics, and technological agricultural production and processing. It combines the discipline of mechanical, civil, electrical, and chemical engineering to source water and animal and plant problems. So, I thought that engineering is a uh, jack of all trade and master of all. <laughs> I thought that engineering is the 
integrate technology with farming. We use everything. You will see them in civil. You will see them in mechanical, electrical, and so on. They design and build infrastructure structures are done. We are have some food structure. Food processing plants, animal assisting, and other structures. Their work also includes agricultural forestry, climate control, livestock management, artificial intelligence, and so on. Food is the cheapest in developed country, but nearly most costly in developing or underdeveloped countries because of the neglect of engineering in agriculture. Bill Clinton, in his address at one of our survey international conventions, this is, I want to put it here. We are now aware of the challenging task of the 21st century, which is feeding the growing world population. The agricultural engineers have put the train to help us face this challenge. They have the skill, they have supplies for designing and implementing agricultural system that can meet the food, fiber, and now fuel requirement for the generation to come at sustainable level. So we need even the fuel. So this, we release because we focus on the uh, petrol. We have got this. And that is our work. If you guys about this, in some countries now, the ethanol from uh, cassava is being combined with petrol and it's doing well. It's doing well. So if we invest into agricultural engineering, if we can do a lot of things out of that, Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, I want to say here that employment, because that's where I want you to, we, we should see. Most of the other, uh, that employment in most of other professions in Nigeria is being on the advanced development of agricultural engineering. If agricultural engineering is well developed, all other professions that are jobless now, we have jobs. I will explain that one later. Gali, in 172 AD, described employment as nature-based physician, and it is essential to human happiness. Nigerians are happy because they are jobless and result to a lot of criminal activities available to them. You see, we refuse. They, they, they said, uh, an idle hand is just a workshop. So we make them idle. So definitely we are building that use workshop. The four major criteria for society industry are land labor. Raw market, the market. All these things are in Nigeria. When you talk about land, we have 79 million hectares of arable land. You talk about labor. Labor. Nigeria accounts for 74 percent of West African population, and the largest population of youth in the world. And that's why you see the Japan every day. You don't give them jobs. So they must leave. They are looking for jobs somewhere. They are looking for something somewhere. That's why they are leaving. The labor is available here. Yeah, everything we have. We have the market, and that is our population. The population keeps up the market. Nigeria has market because of its population, 260 million. But unfortunately, this market is being utilized by foreign countries who bring their substandard product to our country. The Yoruba government says that can get the money up, the devil can get the That is why we buy everything. Whether the economy is right or wrong. Like I said the other time, that job creation is based on development of agricultural engineering. I will use the example of tomato industry. If we have tomato industry, forget about the study production now. We will have state manager, marketing manager, 
sales representative, plant manager, which is electrical, mechanical, and so on. We have food engineers there. You will have food scientists, those in biology, and so on. Those in chemists, industrial chemists. We will have accountants. We will have storekeepers. We have drivers. We have security. And others. But because we refuse to develop that one, and they are bringing all sorts of tests from abroad, we are taking it. We refuse to develop our own self here. Our people become unemployed and so on. Now, government policy on agriculture. Federal government has initiated various policies. But by the time you look at those policies, you will never see a stress here for a big engineer. I think you have a big policy. No space for a big engineer here. Ladies and gentlemen, just the policy. It was discovered that the role of our country engineers are not specifically defined. How can a bank give loan to a large scale farmer that is engaged in mechanical farming without an agricultural engineer's input? That is why you see most of them. They collect it, they do it, they pay, and they will not come back again. And that's why you see big, big farms, they are dying. Big, big farms are dying now because they refuse to put the policy refused to recognize the agric engineers who can advise them and talk to them along this line. And our policy again, everybody should go to farm. You have seen it. Everybody should go to farm. If everybody goes to farm, a doctor will not be a good doctor. You are calling him to come and do something. It's on the farm. So definitely, that is our problem. That's why most of the Nigerians are not performing here. But by the time they leave the shore here for another place, because of concentration, you will see them performing. So, when they say everybody to go to farm, for instance, American expenditure on food amounts to 30% of household budget. But in Nigeria, the cost of rice is at 5,000 now. Even more than 30,000 naira, the man is selling. So how, how, does, how do you want him to go? So we have a lot of problems like this. Now, since food is very, very important and services provided by merchants or factories or economy, economy cannot shift. Immediately to industry. So when you are talking of industry, you are talking of building industry and so on. We must first provide food. And that is why you see most companies they now die. That's why you see most of the companies die. Because you cannot shift the economy from food. The first thing is to satisfy people. An angry man, like we said. It's an angry man. So you must remove the anger first before you talk about all those ones. So the emphasis should shift from food farming to agriculture for the Nigerian economy to grow at a desired rate. When I was writing this lecture, the price of petrol is 165, but now it is 500 naira. But even with that, the price of one liter of vegetable oil is 1,500. So you can imagine, if we invest on agricultural engineering, we invest in those things, you will see how much we get. Just 500 naira we are applying. What of 1,500 vegetable oil? So we need it. Miss 5,000 of the Nigerian graduates that are not employable here are being sought for in America, Europe, and Asian countries. They say our, 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 they are not, uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, 
my experience as the acting uh, director of the local TV in Lovelight has exposed me to our government's game of shifting blame on students and lecturers by saying Nigerian graduates are on the table. When there is no company to train them, see them, how many of your students is able to get a place to do it? Uh, is IT, industrial training, to gain experience. We teach them in theory. The practical will be taught in that company, but the company is not available. Even at no cost. So, now let me now take implications of failure street and the Nigerian economy. That's where I'm going now. Implication of federal team and Nigeria economy. One, night as a symbol of education. Vegetable is funded. If you are using plain rice production, you have just funded three months to proceed produce vegetable. What happened after? And vegetable is needed during the year. So we need to do this. We need to develop irrigation very well. The food requirements are increasing, while global water resources are limited. Proper and efficient farm irrigation can only be possible with the combination of agricultural engineers. In a study on irrigation depth and shadowing, a paper in 2020. The potential effect of irrigation on the engineering properties of tomato food. The study was designed to provide data for tomato handling and processing machine designer. Finally, indicate that irrigation depth and shadowing affect the various critical variables required in the designing, handling, and processing of machine. Except we start studying all these things. When you want to use irrigation, you look at some of those things, and that is why I don't, I don't know whether we are aware that Dan Sante started tomato company about two, three years ago. Uh, tomato, yes, tomato company. The team fold up. He wants to use labor and every other thing, removing agriculture from uh, the engineering from agriculture. He said, he cannot. Because he can't compete with the foreign ones that are using uh, they, are, they are using engineering in production. Water, water everywhere. That's another problem now. Most of our I know some of us here that know some of the rivers that you see around before. We are those rivers again. Those rivers are getting dried out. Because of poor management of irrigation. So, but unfortunately for us, there are some things we can do. And we have tried that one again. This is the case for Nigeria. Irrigation is poorly developed. Poor water management makes some of these resources of water to dry up. But now, we find that. We can use wet water to plant that, to plant. If you know the amount of in generation, I don't know whether you can see, but 311.6 liters of wet water per person per day. That's UK, that's what I say. UK have it gone to 250 liters per day. Let us in Nigeria. 1.5 million meters cubed of waste water. Then, do we not allow our plants to die of water? No! By using waste water. And that makes all the. Okay, let me read it. Waste water, I've seen as problem before. Because of the disposal. However, the recent 
case, the potential of press order for irrigation use has gained prominence. Some countries like Egypt, Jordan, Mexico, Spain, and United States have started exploring the use of waste water. So, I've been doing a talk of 2030, studying the effect of teaching waste as irrigation water for on soil property and growth of cucumber. They use wastewater to grow cucumber. At the end of the day, they find out that the wastewater they use performs better than the rainwater. The soil also performs better. So why can't we try to explore this? Ladies and gentlemen, in a similar study, the use of wastewater for crop, barbecue and crop, crop reported the effect of three uh, kinds of wastewater. The abatia wastewater, the abatia wastewater, the bathroom wastewater, and the cassava effluent. So they found out that it's only the cassava effluent that has a negative effect. So we means by listening, this thing we can do it. Then let me go to the second one of the implication. How as a symbol of animal husbandry? There is a judgment. The amount of people account is related to the case of ex-men's ex-men and kidnapping asking for ransom. The thing now swallowing the first one. You will see by the time they kidnap, they ask for millions of naira. Wow. Because of my time, you can see the You will see that the main reason why the experts are coming down is it's not because of religions or whatever. They are seeking survival of visitors. They are looking for where to survive. So we don't need policy, and that is why Igowu also produced a machine. We by the time you see some of those things, when you look at it, we produce a dye uh, roller machine so that we can produce alien, we can produce feed for animal. You don't need to run right now. All things we did uh, we engineer that uh, farm, animal farm uh, processing, we have problem. You know today, the, the, the cow or whatever waste, the cattle waste, is not being used for agriculture, for biogas. So if you have them, you keep them at a place. You can easily them across all those things. So we produce a machine that can produce, and that is the machine can produce products you don't need to look for all those things. That's the next one. That is on storage and processing. If you don't store, you don't process, you cannot get anything. Just imagine that every day you want to eat, you go out to seek for food. You will go to farm and get food. You see the implication of processing. You can get in the meat. You can get it easily. That is processing. So unless, but unless we have excess production, we can't go into processing. And once we have excess, we have uh, the other one. We can then do it. Now, for processing, you cannot process without knowing some things. And that's the picture of agricultural engineers. The engineering properties of each crop are different. So when you want to design a machine, you must follow that. So we now work in the wood, work on engineering properties of uh, some crops, hydrofracture, resistance, and so forth. Effect of the variety too. 
if you see different names, have different engineering properties. So if you don't design, if you don't take into practice the variety, the property of variety, which means for each of these things, you will need uh, to design each of them. Now, the year that snake has, this issue of snake has, that's my guy. That's very interesting. Do you know that the current machine being used to manage A is taken from that speed, from that box? High speed and so forth. We now have the engineering property of that. Go back to that. Go back to the event. So in a way, now, and you will have a on the major the effect of major content on that. We want to, uh, because of time, you don't want to know what I'm studying there on any property. Instead of you, we know you. You see, our old people, we know you when they want to please. So we study that one. Then you don't want to know what I'm studying the of major. And now we study now. We use it in designing the machine. That is the implication. We use it in designing a machine. Now we have we also study cassava flower. So the flower is too costly. The wheat flower is too costly. Why don't we use cassava? Use those ones that are close to us. That some countries today they are using it. So cassava, uh, we now work on some effects of processing on the characteristics of cassava flower. So that if you want to use it as made, or you want to mix it, you know you study the character, then you study the, how it will be able to mix and so on. Then the same thing for flower of the uh, plantain. And lastly, let me talk about the global crisis that you are facing today. Petrol from 165 and 185 to 500. If we really go into about one, you will see that the other issue will now be added to uh, only young adults reported to see rural capitals for power well. This is about Chancellor. During my lecture, I've been able to highlight Nigerian policy on agriculture for attention, security, and productivity, and so on. The official committee. Is next net of engineering in agriculture. That is why we have problems. All those problems you see is not anything but next net of engineering in agriculture. How see? And that's why you see some of them they want to go out of it. Recommendation. Certain agriculture engineers on training abroad, not on the green force they do. This experience, I don't have much time, but it happens to achieve a lot of their own hour. That's why you must be able to achieve. They send some people from Croatia to study just six months. They come back and become millionaires. Send them not for degree alone. That's like Chalato. Some of us may not even know what it means. Let them go. Let everybody go. I want to my national grants to our country engineers. ICT, using ICT. I don't have time to explain some of these things. You don't need to be on the farm. You make it interesting for the young ones. Small farming, that is why most of our crops are not as Actually, they are not as Fast Farm farming, then small farming will say exactly what this one needs, what that one needs, so we can collaborate. Don't see that uh, computer so far. So, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, because of my time, I may not need to come up, but let me acknowledge some people here. Oh, thanks. By thank God Almighty, the most beneficial and the most merciful for giving me the grace to stand before you today. I sincerely appreciate the love, affection, and support of my late father, Father Idogu Solomon. That is the it was an inspiration, source of encouragement and fruitful throughout his life. I also thank my loving mother, 
you are a poor mother indeed. The king all has it to hold. His prayer of mother, princess who married him. I pray that you will live long enough to live his feet of the fruit of your labor. I sincerely appreciate all my siblings. Starting with Mr. and my younger brother, Pastor Igawu Ike, the fireman prayer minister, and Mrs. Igawu Ike, a civil engineer by training. You are highly appreciated. I thank sincerely all your support and encouragement. I thank all my for giving me a beautiful, honest, hearing, lovely, so sweaty, and not your wife. This is the Oscar of Katina. I love you and I thank you most sincerely. She has been a dependable, reliable, wonderful, companion, and confident, and the only mother of my children. I also thank my ex-husband, Papa Tonya, and all the members of staff, both teaching and teaching. I appreciate Professor Adebayo too. I thank everybody sincerely, unfortunately, they are here with me. Everybody sincerely, I thank you very, very much. You are welcome. The students, thank you. The dean, thank you. Everybody, thank you. God bless you. God be with you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for that next talk. Now we want to appreciate you once again for that lecture. Please, can we celebrate him with you? Now, the acting vice for that important guest. Permit me to recognize the presence of the Deputy Dean of Gap and Uh yes, Professor Mudashi. Thank you very much for coming. Now, for we are gradually moving to the end of the program, and I want to invite the chairman of the organizing committee. Professor Ladejo, for the closing remarks. Yes, I want us to celebrate him. This is in his day. Thank you. The activists of the law, if you represent here, permit me to sit on the existing protocol. I did not. We want to appreciate the name of the Lord today for this eighth lecture series on the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, Loud Tech Technology. This is the third lecture series during the norm of the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering and Technology, Professor H. O. On behalf of the committee members, I want to appreciate you for giving us the privilege to serve in this capacity. From 2019 to he has supported us with the assistance of the various heads of the party in our work with him for the successes of let us use this opportunity to appreciate the previous lecturers for the sixth 
professor Louis Bonamumi, and for the seventh, Professor Abu Rishadi from Electric Care Elements Engineering, and the eighth man, uh, Dr. Jowu from Agric Engineering. We want to appreciate all the heads of the department for their collaborations, for the successes. Let me also appreciate the committees and uh, professors from faculties that have graced this situation at different lectures that we have organized in part of the faculty. I want to appreciate our students, the support we and for your evidence to learn each time that we have the lecture students in the faculty. Lastly, I want to appreciate my committee members. Despite the individual assignments, they find time to make sure that we organize successful lecture service. And we have to handle because in 2019 when we started, All of us in that committee, we are doctors. But as of today, out of the seven, we have four that are now professors. And the remaining three that are associate professors. So once again, I want to thank God for helping us to round up on this enough with the heat lecture series. For everyone that is present here today, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now we want to untap our hands. So shall we all rise for our hands?
Why is the protection of the country? Why is it not the law? 